Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the new patch that was released today, July the 16th. So a lot of you would have anticipated they'd fixed the code leaf, but unfortunately, I just jumped into my first game and I was hit with a code leaf error. Literally updated it five minutes before I played my first game and uh, I'm jumping straight into a code leaf error. I've been looking around the internet, the Reddit forum, saying that one of the developers shall I say that they still can't understand why everyone's getting a code leaf and they're still working on it. And it looks like today, reading through the, today's patch or today's update, uh, it's not been fixed. So we're still gonna be playing with the code leaf error. So I get a code leaf error every three to four games, uh, which is quite annoying really. I would have thought they would have at least fixed it now. It's been going on since season one. Season two come out a few weeks back. I thought it would have been fixed then, but still having the same issues. And with this patch that's just come out now, uh, there's still no fix to it. I'm still getting the code leaf errors. With today's patch, here's a quick, some of the quick notes. Uh, fixed an issue where Lifeline DOC shop finisher preview video not playing when viewed from the menu. Fixed an issue with text overflow on the stats page. Fixed some case of crashes related to game logic, client and script errors. Fixed cases of players being sent in non-optimal data centers. With regards to the data centers, you can see it's moved to the bottom left of the screen. You just press right thumb stick and you can see now your nearest data center uh, you'll be auto assigned to. So I'm in the UK, it's London, and then we go to Amsterdam, Belgium. So it's like an automatic, I'm gonna pick your lowest ping, so your nearest location. So that will come up if, as soon as you load the game, you'll get to this screen here, you'll have the chance, but it's auto optimized now, so it will put you in your nearest data center anyway. I'm just gonna try and jump into a game while I read out the rest of the patch notes. Season 1 stats have been temporarily removed as we work on some issues with it. Fix the bug when players would unlock the level 94 battle pass reward before they should. Fix an exploit where the Havoc could fire full auto without charging up. And also fix some cases of the care package clipping through map geometry. So uh, yeah, that's the update. Still no code leaf fix. Uh, really think they should need to sort it out. Also, a lot of people have been commenting about uh, crossplay. I do hope crossplay will be coming out on Apex soon. It was announced in season one that they'll be working on it, but it is a really a, a lot of work to get it right. And whether they'll be allowing the account merging, because as of at the moment, people are probably playing on the PS4 and also playing on the Xbox PC. You've got three different accounts. Are we going to see an account merge on Apex? And there you go, straight to a code leaf error. So after updating this, the first time I pressed, tried to get into a match, straight to a code leaf error. You've just seen me now into the lobby, straight into a match and another code leaf error. That's with the new update. So in my eyes, I've never had it twice in a row when I've started at uh, Apex Legends. So let's try for a third time, third time lucky. But it seems to me it's getting a lot worse. You know, season two out now, these are... Uh, Code leaf errors should have been ironed out. Yeah, it's trying to find the server. Connect into a match, hopefully. We should jump straight into a match. Yeah, but if you are having any connection issues, yeah, drop them in the comments in the comment box below. Let me know how often you get a code leaf error. But this seems to be okay now. Yeah, drop the comments in the comments box below. Let me know what errors or how often you get your errors. Remember to subscribe, like, and I'll see you again in another video. Thanks for watching.